Peace fam, how are you? Hope oh, all is well. Checking on you guys. Um, and just watching the foolishness going on on this planet, right? Um, we, this, this, this shit right here is getting worse by the seconds. I'm just trying to inform you guys. Um, this is not going to look good. So now we have half of um, the United States reopening. Now we have a guideline according to uh, Donald Trump that your state has to have 14 consecutive days of uh, no, no no coronavirus cases, right? And um, all of these states that's getting ready to open up, um, what do you know? They're spiking. Their 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 numbers are increasing as we speak, but they get ready to open up, right? See, um, the problem here, right? The problem here is this: we're getting ready to. Um, it's getting ready to get hot, right? And um, people think because it's getting ready to get hot that this uh, virus is going to disappear, right? Um, if that's the case, it's already hot in California. It's already hot in Africa. Um, it's already hot in Florida. It's hot in Texas, right? And the body count is still rising. So this shit has nothing to do, right, with, um, with heat, right? So, um, I just want you all to understand something, right? All right, you need to still stay your ass in the house. And then, um, when summertime comes, just, just, just stay around your own circumference. Do not go outside amongst these white people because right now I'm telling you, they are suicidal. They got a fucking death wish, right? And, um, I was looking yet yeah, last night. I caught it a little bit, right? So Atlanta reopened, right? So um, Atlanta reopened. I forgot their percentage of black people. I think maybe 20% uh, of the population is, is black or whatever, right? But 50% um, of the coronavirus cases are African-American. My, my thing is this, like... With this mayor or whatever she is, I hear her talk and I hear you talking, right? But my thing is, why haven't you guys started um, filing lawsuits against these states for attempted murder for trying to kill us? That that's what's supposed to be happening right about now. I really believe that people, these the people who are so con supposed to be so concerned. Um, about our well-being. I'm just trying to figure out why haven't they started uh, litigation. No different than these white people going out here, these governors going out here, going to the courts to ask them to open up. Um, I think that you should. they should be out there uh, going to court telling them to shut it down because right now um, we're in danger. We're in danger. We're in danger. <laughs> people don't get it. Um, I watched this video last night in New York and it was very disturbing very disturbing right so um, the lady was out talking and um, you could see the coroners and I think it was the fire department paramedics all these people were coming out of her apartment building right and she was explaining that her husband right has been dead in her apartment for three days Three days. So they finally got to her house um, just to pronounce him dead, right? And um, left him, his body still in the house, right? Um, the morgues are, they can't call a morgue because the morgues are overwhelmed already with bodies. So what is she supposed to do? Uh, with her husband's body and then she said de Blasio you sitting here you know y'all get on TV and act like everything is all under control but y'all really not showing people um, the shit that you're doing here y'all got dead bodies people in in apartments with, with people uh, with dead bodies in, in their apartments for days 
maybe weeks now. And, and the thing about it, I'm looking at it now because it's like coming to a, a city or state near you. What New York is going through right now, uh, everybody's going to bear witness to, especially all these states opening back up um, because when their healthcare system becomes overwhelmed, New York is not sending uh, nurses and doctors and shit uh, to help them the same way they didn't send them to help them, right? Which is rightfully so. Um, these red states, since they wanna do the battle against the red and the blue states, they're gonna reap what they sow. Mark my word, right? Because uh, by, when they get it, it's gonna be out of control. It's already out of control. We already up past a million people infected as we know of in this country, right? Um, 65,000 plus uh, deaths, right? And the body count is rising, but these motherfuckers said, uh, ain't nothing wrong, you know, we're gonna go back to normal. You know, this is, <laughs> this is, you know, this is not gonna stop us give us liberty or give us death and uh, I think they're going to choose the ladder of death because that's what's coming <sighs> very disturbing very disturbing then I saw another video with um, the brother was um, in his car and he stopped and he was videotaping right and uh what he was videotaping, he was videotaping, there was a bulldozer, okay? There was a bulldozer with bodies, right? So many bodies, uh, I don't know how many, right? And the bulldozer uh, lifted itself up and just poured the bodies into the back of the, um, the refrigerator trucks, right? And then they went on about their merrily way, like that wasn't humans that they just bulldozed and uh, dumped into the back of a refrigerated truck. Disturbing, disturbing. I'm, I'm serious. I'm like, this right here, this has to bring change to us. We, we right now, um, I don't give a fuck. We should not be in nobody's goddamn um plant uh any anywhere where um you have to deal with large bodies of people uh we should not be there not not us you know right now out of all people um i don't know if it's um if it's an actual fact or not and i don't give a fuck but according to their own uh statistics right um we're dying. We're dropping like flies. So why the fuck will we go back out there and um, work for these people, risk our lives and die uh, for, just for the luxury and comfort of the 1%? Because that's what the fuck is happening right now, right? So um, I don't think so. I don't think so. Brothers and sisters, I'm begging you, please stay home. We, we, we'll get through this. We'll get through this. Um, like I said, just get your water, get your food, you know what I mean? Um, whatever money you got, just keep stacking, 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 because I'm telling you, this shit right here, it's going to, it's going to be civil unrest, it's beyond civil unrest. I was looking at them yesterday, they was at the, um, in Michigan, bum rushed the lady, uh, the senator, governor, whatever, bum rushed her, pulled out AR-15s, pulled them out on her. Right? And um, then, you know, she had security there and they was about to go to war. And they was about to go to war. In, 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 in the governor's, uh, wherever they were at, they were about to go to war. And um, they had on, you know, her team had on bulletproof vests, right? Because they already knew what was going to happen. This shit right here, um, they're going to kill themselves off. That's what's going on here. It's, it's going to be another. See, the problem with a lot of these, um, 
uh, white people in the South, they're still angry because they got their ass whipped during the Civil War. You know what I mean? We dragged the fuck out of them then. So you can only imagine what the fuck we're going to do um, this time. Because we will. we Black people, we will liberate ourselves from this bullshit going on here. It's just a matter of time. It's a matter of time because um, people don't realize, like, um... We don't have shit to lose. We really don't. You know what I mean? And um, right now we got to fight. We literally got to fight. Um, and we're torn between going out um, and working, catching coronavirus, or staying home and probably uh, die from starvation or whatever. But that's not going to happen. I'm just telling you, brothers and sisters, if we unite, you know what I mean, wherever you at, keep looking out for one another. That's all you got to do. Keep looking out for one another. Keep looking out for the elders. Um, trust me, if we keep stocking food, water, and stuff like that, we'll have enough um, where we can share with our community until we figure out what the fuck we're going to do right now moving forward. But there's no way... After this United States showed black people how the fuck they feel about us um, and the way they handling us and our loved ones, there's no way we should go back and work for any fucking form of the government, white supremacy, or none of that shit. Game should be over. Nobody in their right mind should be thinking about still working for these goddamn devils after they fucking tried to kill us. Ain't no try. They had. This shit is genocide. Straight genocide. And, 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 and it's not going to get any better. You know what I mean? So, um... I just don't think, I, I, I don't know, you know, I know people got to do what they got to do, but um, my thing is uh, black people should, should just be home, um, taking care of their families and um, coming together, uniting and thinking of a plan um, to separate, right? That's, that's the uh, key to this right now. The key to this right now is separate or die. Okay, and that's just not for African Americans because I keep on telling people, people they keep saying African Americans, everybody in goddamn Atlanta, New York, and all these other places is not just fucking African Americans, they're Africans, they're Caribbeans, um, they're from all over UK, they're from all over black people from all over the fucking world here in the United States of America is dying. Okay, so, um, like I said before, I said it before. They're not labeling you as, um, oh, a, a Caribbean American died from coronavirus or a Ghani, you know, Ghani, Ghanaian or whatever you call yourselves, Nigerians, um, or has died from this corona. No, they're grouping everybody together. So look, just do the analysis to that num the numbers. Do you know how many, let me tell you, do you know how many goddamn Africans is in um, Texas. My fa my father is from Sugarland. My father lives in Sugarland, right? Well, he he lived in Sugarland, but anyway. And you know, I still have I have a house there, right? So I'm I'm always in 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 Sugarland, Texas, right? And um, when you go when you go there, is so many Africans. Um, and you can tell they're Africans, you know what I mean? Because they're all, they're in their little, you know, their tribal uh, uh, outfits or whatever. You can tell the Ethiopians, the the, the Nigerians, um, the Kenyans, you can tell, right? So these people that you think are dying, um, that are African-Americans um, all over this country, it's not just fucking African-Americans, they're just black people as a whole. <laughs> And then um, I saw this thing where this brother was like, "Yeah, um, yeah, you, you, you African Americans are are really catching hell over there." Let me tell you something, right? We might be catching hell right now, right? But every knee is going to bow, and every tongue is going to confess, right? 
So hold that motherfucking thought. Hold that thought, right? Because um, famine is coming. There's nobody that's going to be able to work the fields. Natural disasters is going to fuck this whole planet up. If this virus don't kill us, these goddamn storms is getting ready to come through here and tear some shit up, right? So you got to be mindful of just African American. This ain't just an African American goddamn uh, uh, virus killer, right? It's just right now, Africa probably um, is dodging a bullet, right? But, um, if you if they if if this shit hits Africa, if this shit hits the motherland, right, um, it's game over, right. That shit will start to um, begin to look like um, how we saw certain um, places um, in the eighties when we started. Um, sending money i used to do i used to have pen pals in africa when i was younger right we would write to our african friends and they would write us back and tell us how things were going there right we used to send clothes um all types of shit right and that always bothered me to see like how they after um the italians came and mowed down the um ethiopians and how they left them right was fucked up. Even now, today, you got Africans dying of goddamn um, hunger and disease now. You know, and there's no virus there. And then they still got goddamn Chinese. Why is the fucking Chinese still in y'all goddamn country? It's like, it's like mind boggling. Why the fuck would y'all have your enemies in your country? See, like here, here, we don't have no choice. You know, because we were bought here. You know, this is really not our... We, we, you know, yeah, we have claims to it. Most definitely we have claims because uh, a lot of us really already fucking been here anyway. But um, I, I'm just kind of um, confused of why uh, the African still has um, these... Chinese in their goddamn country, these motherfuckers try to kill a whole goddamn world, right? I, I wouldn't care, I wouldn't care, I really wouldn't care if they were trying to help or hurt, I wouldn't even take the risk of being around them. But don't get it twisted, I'm looking so, um, especially Nigeria, I was looking at Nigeria the other day because they on lockdown, but they went to the prison and freed all the damn prisoners. They said, no, y'all not going to do our brothers and sisters like this. Not at a time like this. They fucked the goddamn um, officers up and released all the prisoners. I said, that's what's up. That's what's up. Right? Then you got them out, um, their machetes and shit, um, you know, taking turns, making sure nobody come in their villages and shit and rob, steal, rape, or whatever. Um, I admire that, right? I really admire that, um, Nigeria. That's what's up. Um, same thing should be going on here if it's not, you know? And it wasn't just brothers out there. Um, it was sisters with the machetes and guns, too. I was like, That's, that, that looks like me. Because I'll be right the fuck there, too. Front line. Right? Yeah, we, we really have to come up with a strategy and plan and um, do not, and I repeat, right? Do not go to sleep because it's getting ready to get warm outside, okay? Because this fucking virus ain't going nowhere. Um, uh, and, and there's still no cure. I was looking at Dr. Fauci and Dr. Fauci talking about he got some medicine to treat this shit, right? But that's when you already got coronavirus and you real fucked up already, right? So, so what's the use of that? Right? People are, oh, we got a breakthrough. Well, um, I'm not impressed. See that? See that? Look. See that ray of sun? Right? Just a reminder. Reminder. We are the children of the sun. 
right? Yeah, the sun is going to um, shield and protect us for a minute. But I'm telling you, do not go to sleep because it's getting ready to get hot, right? I was looking at, um, in California, motherfuckers at Orange County and Orange County at the beach, it was thousands of the motherfuckers on the beach, right? And, um, it was so bad, but they wanted to open up the country, right? They wanted to open it up. The motherfuckers flooded that goddamn beach. Now they scared because they know they're getting ready to spike, um, increase, with coronavirus cases, you had to see them. They out here like it's, it, you know, this this disease just magically disappeared, you know. Um, you know, we gotta stick to reality. We're gonna stick to our reality and um, pay attention to what's going on here because we know if we don't, it could cost us our lives, right? But I just wanted to reach out to you guys. Um, I will. Um, come back later on and make a video another video but I wanted to um, reach out to you guys and see how everybody was doing today I'm out you know and then I got my little um, around the world that's my coffee see my um, let me see if you can see him. my little um, Mary Jane's on today I don't know if you can see him or not but um, that's how I'm feeling today. I'm feeling real worldly. You know, I want this message to be universal um, because I want to make sure my brothers and sisters stay alive. And um, the thing about it, we can look at this shit like this. If we sit back and let them kill themselves off, you know, God said he made devils so he can kill them in one day to show and prove um, his powers. Right? Without, without lifting a finger. You look at what's going on now and the way these people are go carrying on by opening up their country and catching coronavirus. By the time, by the time the fall get here, right, it's going to be already terrible, right? I just got a feeling in a minute and it's going to be hot. You start getting, you, you'll be smelling the stench of death everywhere, right? Because these people not listening. The morgues is already, the morgues and the hospitals, no matter where you go, are already overwhelmed um, with bodies, right? And then for you to go out there and volunteer to um, catch it, you know, it's, it's just disturbing. It's disturbing. But, you know, we're very intelligent beings, and um, I, I really say that our behavior is just so impressive right now. Everywhere I go, we are the ones following the rules. These motherfuckers is not following the rules. They don't want to listen, you know, and um, there's a cause. There's an effect to everything you cause, right? So just sit back, be patient, stay home. Unless you got to go out, you know, get you some food or whatever. Other than that, if you're going out just for entertainment and that kind of book, no, fuck no, stay home. Listen, we could do a bid. It's not that hard. We've been doing a bid for 400 years, right? So we can do a bid until these motherfuckers find a cure. It's not that hard. We just got to discipline ourselves. Um, you know, I'm a homebody anyway, so this really don't bother me. But you have some people that's very worldly. It's going to um, be hard. For them to tone it down but uh they just got to remember if they don't turn it down uh the penalty for that um it's going to be death right y'all see I, I like this little um this little ray of sun this is so deep i'm feeling that i'm really feeling that yeah anyway i'm gonna let you guys go um like i said your vibrations high um, stay home. You want to entertain uh, yourselves? Go get your little pool. Let your babies play in the pool. You know, if you're not um, fortunate enough to be around a pool or whatever, you know, be creative. Um, like I said, we could do a bit. Right? Only the strong going to survive this shit. And we're very strong people. Right? And, and, I, and I'm going to put my money on us. Said the meek shall inherit the earth, right? How uh, you pay attention to what's going on now? 
Um, and I really, really, really um, bear witness that um, we are about to inherit this earth, right? So um, keep your vibrations high. Um, I will do a video later on in the day. Um, with that being said, uh, I'm out. Peace.